Welcome to the county seat. I'm Derek Dowsett, the producer of the show. Chad is actually out on assignment this week, so I'll be hosting the show for you. We're going to talk about pizza slices and donut holes. Well, that's what the other media has been talking about. But we're going to talk about the redistricting here in the state of Utah and how it affects some of the rural communities across the state. A little later in the show, we will actually have a panel discussion talking about some of the pros and cons of what's going on. Here with the story is Malia Bascom. Population growth. While many states in the U.S. have seen sharp population declines, Utah is not one of those. The 2010 National Census revealed that Utah grew by over 23% since 2000, easily outpacing the national average of about 9%. That growth brings with it a new congressional seat to the state and helps complicate the already controversial redistricting process. Once a decade we have redistricting. Uh, I think there's a few things everyone needs to know. One, someone's always going to be unhappy and usually one party is always going to be unhappy. Simply put, redistricting is the practice of redrawing the boundaries between congressional districts after each U.S. Census. A, a number of maps have been put forward that have uh, what's been called a donut approach where you have uh, the, the urban counties, the, the urban Wasatch Front, uh, making up either one or two or possibly even three of the congressional districts in those four counties. So there has been discussion. If we do that, do we keep Salt Lake City whole or do we split it? Uh, the other kind of map there is out there that, that's been talked about is the pizza slice approach where you have a little bit of rural and a little bit of urban in each of the four districts. If you do that, uh, the chances are pretty good that you're going to have to split Salt Lake County. Splitting counties in two or more is one of the major points generating anger in some areas. With Salt Lake County, the division is unavoidable due to the sheer size of the population. Our main charge is to make sure that we have a one person, one vote uh, map where uh, you have equal representation. So we have in the, in the Senate 95,306 is the ideal size of the seat for a Senate district. In the case of Senate District 24 that's proposed, you have to have 10 counties to get to that 95,000. In the middle of Salt Lake City, it, that may be a few square miles uh, just because of the population. The districts are much different there, but the main idea is the same for all of the maps that we've worked on, and that is that we have a one person, one vote as close as possible. For protesters at the state capitol, the numbers don't add up. Complaints focus on a perceived lack of public input or blatant disregard of that input. Utah's population growth has created problems and opportunities across the state, with the current political battle merely the loudest. Congressional redistricting will set the stage for Utah's long-range national goals. And while both sides of the political spectrum may call foul, the end goal of a strong democracy should be at the forefront. It's 10 days of maybe some negative publicity for 10 years of favorable lines, and that equation is always going to work out for the majority party. Some people have called it the tyranny of the numbers, and, and in some cases that's really kind of true. When you have to have 95,306 people in a Senate district, it really drives where those district lines are going to be drawn more than anything else. We'll be discussing the different redistricting maps. In some circles, those are known as the pizza and the donut in our roundtable discussion. For the county seat, I'm Malia Bascom. Thank you for that story, Malia. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the uh, redistricting and how it affects the rural counties of Utah. Here with uh, Chris Sloan from Tooele County. We'll be right back in just a moment. Some people just live life. Others turn life into a great adventure. The only difference is where they choose to experience it. Come to you into County Utah, where business, recreation, just life in general. Move from the mundane to the magnificent. Come to learn. Come to play. Come and do more than just live life. You into County. Find out what you're missing in Undiscovered Utah. in love with fall, Logan, Utah. 
the State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration. CITLA manages 3.5 million acres of Utah lands with the express purpose of furthering the education of Utah students while promoting local industry, oil and gas, even residential development, all at the same time. Through the careful use of trust lands, we distributed more than $22 million to Utah schools last year. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, building the state's permanent school fund. Native Americans called it the land of the sleeping rainbow. It's a place of unparalleled enchantment, where history, splendor, and industry meet. We call it Sevier County. Experience the Paiute Trail by ATV. Explore seven national parks, all within a few hours' drive. Gaze down at the world from an entirely new perspective. Join us in Sevier County and discover real Utah. Come, explore the Paiute Trail and beyond. <laughs> 